Uh, hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to review my Seiko Sarb 033. I've got it right here. I have owned this watch since 2016. And I bought the watch for me, for myself for a early gift for graduating college. I graduated 2016 and I wanted to buy myself something special because I was proud of myself. I was, I'm the first person to graduate from not only high school, but college in my family. So I wanted to buy myself something nice so I can remember it, you know, you, know, you worked hard, you did good. So I bought myself this Zarb 033. And I love this watch. I have it right now on a pearl on strap, which I prefer. I've had it on a, uh, I've had it on the bracelet and the bracelet's cool, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I prefer a pearl on or a leather strap. I think there's just too much metal going on. Uh, so I just prefer the the uh the straps i'm wearing a i like wearing a pearl on strap over a leather because i'm i'm lazy <laughs> you know i like to wear on my watch and i wear it every day i don't ever take it off i sleep with it i shower with it so with leather you kind of have to be a little bit more patient and it requires a little more tender loving. You also have to condition it too with leather cream, so that too. But with a pearl on strap, I can go anywhere. And you don't really want to get a leather strap wet. So I have it on the pearl on strap and I really like how it looks. So what I like about this watch, I will say, I like the size. I'm a I'm about six foot tall. I have six inch wrist and which, you know, I'm a skinny guy, so I have small wrist. So this, this is the watch, as you can see. I also am gonna stand for you. Whenever I watch YouTube videos of people reviewing watches or whatever, they, most of the times they have it like, it's like this close. <laughs> you never really get to see them with the watch standing. So I want to do that for you guys. So this is the watch. This is my six inch wrist. This is a 38 millimeter case. This is how it looks. This is how it looks on the Perlon strap. So that's as far as looks. Come up here, buddy. This is my dog, Raymond. He wants to play fetch the ball is right here. So. If you see him staring down, that's, that's why. So, what I like about this watch, I like the size, I like the style, and yeah, it just means a lot to me because of the reason why I bought it. And it's an everyday piece, it's got 100, 100 meters water resistance, like I can take a shower with it. If I have to jump in the pool with it, I can. Um, so, which I have, I've gone swimming with it and it works fine. That's very important to me. Like if, if, if you're spending money, like it's gotta have decent water resistance. Like I don't care if you gonna go scuba diving. I feel like the watch should have good water resistance. It just only lasts that much longer the durability. So another thing is it's thin. It's only like 11 point, I don't know the exact, it's definitely under 12. I think it's like 11.2 millimeters thin. I like how it has the open case back so you can get to see it. I really like that. I like the dial. I like how, well, it's got a very reflective. I like how it, it's very simple. It goes with everything. It's black, which matches everything. And as far as accuracy, 
This is a tough one because I tried regulating it from time to time. It's not the most accurate watch. Um, I will say it's it was getting like plus 30 seconds a day. But I opened the case back myself and I'm trying to, and I regulated it. Right now I have it like plus five seconds a day, which is uh, pretty, pretty decent, not bad. Uh, you know, if you want a more accurate watch, a mechanical watch that is, you're gonna have to spend more money. Speaking of money, uh, this watch is discontinued. So you, you can still get it out there, but you're, I think you're gonna, price right now is around $500. I paid 320 I believe, when I bought it in 2016. And after owning it for three years, you know, I have three watches, you know, I've worn this one the most. It's just, it fits my style, you know? I, I'm that, I, I like that casual, do it all kind of vibe. I embody that. That's what I want in myself. And I know amongst the watch community, uh, this is not a watch channel. I'm just giving you my own experience on this watch. Is that, you know, a lot of people buy a lot of watches and they rotate a lot of watches. I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I'm a one watch kind of guy. And this is, this is it for me for now until I can, you know, until I reach another milestone in my life and then I can buy a different watch so which I do have one in mind which I want but that's not really important right now so uh, what else can I talk about it's it's a great watch you know you know if you're gonna gift it to yourself or to someone that you know I think it's a great value watch you know you're getting the Seiko name you're getting a thin, well-proportioned watch. Yeah. If there's some things I could change about this watch, I will say make the minute lines a little longer. They, uh, I would like to see the minute hand in between the minute markers that makes any sense it doesn't necessarily do that so sometimes if the lighting's kind of weird I'd have to like look into it and sometimes I'd have to like count the lines which I wish I didn't have to I'd rather count the spaces rather than the lines if that makes any sense if you have watches I would change that I I'm very minimum I'm a very minimalist kind of guy I would like to have no date I would, I would like to just have a dress watch just like this, no date. Maybe I say that now and I get a watch with no date and then it drives me crazy. I don't know. But for now, I would like a watch with no date. Yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, what else I can say. It's a, it's a great watch. I'm very happy with it. I'm never going to sell it. Even though it's worth more than what I bought it for. I probably couldn't sell it for more than I bought it for. I'm not going to, because this watch means so much to me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this review of owning this watch for about what, three years? Three, almost four years. Wow, January is gonna be the fourth year. And I appreciate it. If you can hit the Thumbs up and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Say hello to my dog. And thank you. Appreciate your time. Bye. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You see this watch? Me gusta. Do you like it? You probably do. Because if you're looking up this specific watch, you probably already like it. Or you're thinking about buying it. To that, I say thank you. And like this video. <laughs>